Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn to Play. My name is Julie and for those of you that are new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a menu planning video. Now I've not planned the menu yet for our new commercial daycare center and I thought today was a great opportunity to do so because we are hosting open play here in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you the new stove that we got, the new commercial microwave we have um, in order so that we can serve food ourselves this time and I need to figure out a menu. I think I'm gonna do a rotating menu. Okay, so let's get started. Yeah, you guys, here is that commercial microwave that I had to purchase. Again, not really sure what the difference is between that and a regular one, except it was $300. Um, so as you can see, it doesn't have that like little tray thing on there. And then here is the oven. This one, it's like the half size one, I think. So as you can see, there's like four racks. It did come with this like drip pan right here that probably goes on the bottom. So I need to get the racks. I did order the um, racks off of Amazon and then my order got canceled. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Eventually I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna need two of these. So this one fits nicely on this table. I wouldn't be able to put two on there. But for right now, with the low enrollment, um, it's fine. I think anything under, I don't know, gosh, I don't know. If we got over 20 kids, maybe we need something different. So those are what we are working with. Okay, let's start off with our breakfast. So we can use a toaster, we can use a microwave, we can use that oven, we can do cold, um, items for breakfast. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a rotation. So for the first day of our opening day, I want to do hot foods, obviously. You know what I should do? I was going to do pancakes, but I think I'm going to do cinnamon rolls. Oops, maybe I got on the correct one here. Yeah, I wonder, let's see here. Perhaps we will do cinnamon rolls and then they can have strawberries and then milk. You guys, fruit, food in general is just so expensive <laughs> right now. And I am not going to sign up for the food program right now um, just because I want to just get the center up and running. And that is another inspection and yada, yada, yada. So I don't want to have any other delays and with having under 20 kids, maybe once I get over 20 kids, I will consider doing the food program. I think you get paid like once a month and who knows like how long it even takes to get paid. I don't want to rely on that money, but I think for the time being, I'm just going to um, purchase the items myself. Okay, so moving on from that, I don't even know if that's how you spell cinnamon. I'm gonna have to Google that, you guys. <laughs> Real life here, real life. All right, so cinnamon rolls on Monday. Let's do cereal with bananas um, and then milk for Tuesday. And let's see, for Wednesday, I am going to do waffles with sausage these will just be um the sausage links so i'll actually just put that down with milk and then thursday i'm wondering if like on tuesdays and thursdays i should do a cold um breakfast option so i think thursday i may do yogurt with cereal bars and then milk and then Friday, let's do waffles because we can, oh, we already did waffles. Let's do pancakes because we can do that in the microwave with, hmm, what can we do with pancakes? Um, we already had strawberries. Maybe I'll do some like kind of blueberries. Blueberries and milk. So the pancakes I can buy in bulk at Sam's Club, a large bag. Um, the same thing with the cereal bars. I told my husband I want to figure out what is the better price point, like between Sam's Club, Walmart. I'm, their prices should be very comparable, considering they're the same, like owned by the same company, I believe. 
But then we have an Aldi's here in the Midwest. I don't know if it's everywhere. And like the cereal bars I know I always get from there because it's like an eight pack or a 10 pack for like $1.50. And I think that's cheaper than going to Walmart. So I definitely wanna break down my food cost because if you've seen my other videos from my home daycare, throughout the three and a half, four years, I pretty much spent between like 50 and $70 on an average. Now, if I would have been continuing that with the amount of kids we had and the ages that we had, considering they were all pretty much like two and up, they eat more. And being like in home daycare, we had that flexibility, like, okay, you want three servings, four servings, but I know I need to scale that back having a center just because of cost. Now, definitely if a child is hungry, I'm not going to be like, no, you've had enough. Um, but some kids will just keep eating. So I need to figure that out. And I need to figure out what is going to be like my weekly budget. I'm assuming we'll probably go through easily one to two gallons of milk a day. That's, you know, you can't buy in bulk. Um, luckily, I do have that pretty big refrigerator in there. So I got to figure this out. I figure what we open in about two and a half weeks, I am going to do like a big Sam's Club run and stuff next week. I'll probably, I'll take you guys along and I'll show you. I'll do like a little haul with that, what I end up buying. Okay, so for our snacks here, I'm going to keep it very, very simple, especially in the morning. So we will do goldfish and then some kind of juice. It has to be 100% juice. I'm gonna do goldfish, honestly. I'm gonna do that three times a week because again, that's something I can buy in bulk. And then I'll do the other um, two days something out. They'll be the same as well. So maybe like this day I'll do animal crackers with juice. And then in the afternoon, I'm gonna do a little bit more heartier, like meatier um, snack. All right, so that is that. Moving on to lunches. So I was looking at the catering um, company that we were going through, and it's awesome though, because they had it like broken down for me already of the serving sizes. For example, for lunch in our state, the children have to have one to one and a half ounces of meat, one fourth to one half cup of fruit, again, one fourth, one half cup of veggie, a half a slice or one fourth cup of bread grains or pasta, and a half to three fourths cup of milk. So that breaks that down there. Um, let's see. So for the first day, I think we're gonna do like sliders, little hamburgers. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to do some tater tots because, again, this is easy to put in that oven. Applesauce. And then they will have the bun. I have to have that listed for under the brain, uh, brains, under the bread, grains, and pasta. And then they'll have milk. I'm thinking that with this, um, oh, you know what? Look what happened here. Let's start this over real quick here. Hamburger. Um, they. I'm gonna do a rotating menu, like weeks one and three will be the same, and weeks two and four will be the same. Just wanted it to go down one time. Okay, the second day, let's do some chicken nuggets with orange slices. Corn and then bread and milk. On Wednesday, I think, you know, Wednesday I was going to do a breakfast, but since I already had the sausage links, we'll do breakfast on Thursday. So let's see, breakfast or for lunch on Wednesday, let's do fish sticks and carrots, noodles. I'm going to do a pineapple because I wanted to do that company had done like once a week they had done a breakfast. I thought that was a good idea. So I'm just kind of actually copying off what they had for their breakfast. They had fruit. Um, 
cocktail. They had hash browns. Oh, I was going to do a French toast with this. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to do, because again, we can put that in there um, in the oven and milk. Okay. And then the last day on Friday, we'll do meatballs with, did I already have pineapple with something? Yeah, with the fish sticks. Okay, so we are going to do meatballs. We're going to do cucumbers and ranch. We will do some kind of like, I guess we'll do, oh, you know what, maybe, no, I can't do rice. Okay, mm, I really can't do pasta. <laughs> See, the problem is I can't have a stovetop because I don't have the proper ventilation per the fire marshal. I know you can make noodles in the oven. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the noodles ahead of time at home, and then I will bring them in, and we can just reheat them. I'll check with... um my licensing lady and make sure that's all right. If not, we'll come up with something different. Okay, so that's the lunch for the first week. And then the afternoon snack. Okay, this is where I want to give them something um, since they had just slept and stuff, something a little bit like this day, let's do carrots and dip here. Carrots and ranch dip with juice. Let's see, the second day I want to do, I do want to do like a pudding and bananas, but we're having bananas for lunch this day. So the second day, let's do, um, do, do cheese, we'll just do cheese and crackers. juice. This I'm going to do vanilla pudding and then bananas with juice. Um, What can we do with some more snacks? I wonder if I want to rotate. You know what? I think it may. Let's do cheese and crackers again this day. Because I can always, I can, you know what, I'll do like string cheese and then, um, what can we do? I'm going to do string cheese with apple slices with juice. Because this one I'll do like a sharp cheddar cheese. And then for Friday, I want to see... Like, I'm trying to think of the snacks that we did at the daycare. We would do, like, pretzels and hummus. We would do um, chips and salsa. But I don't know <laughs> if I can really do that here at the daycare. Um, let's see. We, they're having cucumbers and ranch at lunch. So I don't want to do anything with any kind of ranch or anything. Maybe, okay, let's just do a granola bar and raisins that sounds good with juice so there you have it guys this is going to be the week one menu like I said I think I'll do this for week one and week three all right so moving on here to weeks two and four I'm definitely going to do the same am snacks just going to rotate between those two things. For breakfast, though, I'm wondering, I really don't know what else I would serve, so maybe I will just switch up the days. Let's see here. Okay, I think I'm going to just switch up the days, kind of. So we will do yogurt, bananas, and milk. This, oh, yogurt cereal bars and milk this day. I'm still going to do cereal and bananas that day. This day we will do French toast, sticks, sausage links and milk. This day I want to do, maybe we will do an oatmeal with blueberries on this day. 
And then the last day for this week, I might do another, um, I think I'm gonna do cereal twice on that odd week there. So, okay, so that's it. Like I said, I'm gonna do the same AM snacks and then now moving on for lunch. I'm gonna do some kind of like ravioli because that is easy to do. Pineapple, let's do, actually, you know what? Let's do corn and then the ravioli has the pasta in it so I don't need to add another bread and then we'll do milk. I could add a bread slice, we'll see how that goes. Well, let's do chicken patties the second day with pears, um, peas, and then the bun will serve as the bread with milk. This third day, I'm gonna do some kind of like sandwich since we're having a hot breakfast. Let's do turkey and cheese roll-ups. The kids like that. With carrots and dip. And then I think maybe I'll do like an applesauce and milk. Hmm. Oh, you know what I wanted to do this one? English muffin pizzas. When I worked at the daycare many moons ago, we always did those and the kids loved it. We'll do green beans. And then I'll do peaches. And since my muffin will be the bread, I don't have to worry about that. And last but not least, I'm gonna do like a mac and cheese. Again, I'm gonna see if I can get away with doing the noodles at home. Um, hopefully I can. So let's do some broccoli. We're gonna do fruit cocktail. And then I will have them have bread on this day with milk. Okay, and then the last thing. So the afternoon snacks, I think I am gonna rotate this up a little bit. Um, let's see, so we're doing the cheese. I probably will do, you know what, I'm gonna do a cheese and crackers again though. Crackers and juice. This one, let's see, we have a cold breakfast, hot lunch. I'm gonna see if I can't, oh, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if I can't do the chips and salsa. I'm gonna do it on the English muffin pizza day. Let's see, what else can we have for a snack? Maybe I'll do oatmeal cookies with milk. You guys, give me some ideas here. <laughs> Oh lordy, let's do some Jello. Um, they're having apple slices already, so let's do some orange. Oops, orange slices because then they can do like an orange Jello with the juice. Here, I want to do the chips and salsa. We'll see if we can get away with this with the juice, and then on this one. We have animal crackers and goldfish up on top. Hmm. <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. What can we do? I think we'll do pretzels and hummus with the juice. Okay, here's the menu for weeks two and four then. So like I said, this will just be rotating. This will get us first, through the first month. I don't know if I want to do like a two-month rotation or a monthly rotation. We'll see how it goes. But I'm definitely curious to see. When I do the food haul video, I'll let you, we'll go back and we'll revisit this menu here and then break it down to see how much is it going to cost me. <laughs> I'm curious to see. All right, guys. So that is it. That is the video <laughs> plan with me food menu plan with me this is definitely different i feel like i had recycled through my um home daycare menus throughout the four years but i'm just nervous like i didn't have the food licensing lady come in and inspect me because i wasn't on the food program so i definitely want to make sure that when 
they do their unannounced inspections, then I have the proper food going on at the proper temperatures and everything. Because obviously, kid safety is number one. So that definitely should be the priority. But you never want to get dinged on something as silly as temps and not having the proper portion size. I'm trying to think how big is one to one and a half ounces of meat. <laughs> it doesn't seem that much, but I know they're little kids. So we'll see how this goes. All right. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I need ideas, you guys. I told my sister to come up with a menu. She's dropping the ball here. She hasn't done it. So I have taken over the reins of doing the menu here. <laughs> and I can definitely use some help. So thank you all for watching this video. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. If you're entertained by this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.